I think I might be the most cursed thing in here. Hi, so we are at a haunted house. It's actually just an antique mall, but it is in a house and it feels very haunted. So I wanted to come look around, poke around, see if we could find any spooky objects. My goal is to find the most cursed item in every room and take you along with me as a little fly on the wall that feels very appropriate for a haunted antique mall. I won't lie though, I am specifically looking for a couple of things as well. I'm looking for something to go here. We'll see. And I'm always trying to increase my clip-on earring collection, and they usually have some good stuff here. So let's just go poke around, see what kind of spirits we can conjure. This is not the video that I had planned actually to release today. Um, there's another project that I want to do before the end of October that is just it's more complex than I thought it was going to be. So that will be coming next week, I hope. But for now, enjoy this cursed antique mall experience. Let's go. So I walked in and they're actually having a Halloween party today. So it's kind of actually a haunted house. It's our lucky day, I think. But I just want to know if their vintage decorations are on sale because I must have it. Okay, here's our first room. It's almost like a hallway, not really a room. And I think I found the most cursed item. And it's actually a collection of items. These guys. I think they take the cake, especially this one. Okay, I'm in the baby closet now. <laughs> and I think I found the most cursed object. Can y'all guess what is on the rest of this fan? I don't think you can. Uh, uh. Okay, maybe you guessed it was a baby, but can you guess what's on the back? Excuse me? Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Wait, these are kind of sick though. I like literally have this. I found a little lad. And another little lad. The energy that this bear exudes is so threatening. Why is he standing like that? All right, let's keep it moving. What do we have over here? Just a bottle of pee. Nothing too cursed in here. Oh, wait, never mind. I take that back. I like the fit. I think this falls into the category of cursed, but in a good way. I actually love how paint by numbers look. They have that kind of flat graphic gouache feel. And sometimes they have really crazy color palettes. It'd be really cool to make your own paint by number kit, like design the outlines and then send it to somebody. That's a good holiday gift idea. Boom, free, just for you. Okay, moving on. Gang's all here. I found some random jewelry. Maybe there's some clip-ons in here. Ooh, these are fun. Nope, not for me. Ooh, ooh, please be clip-ons, please be clip-ons. God, I just can't win. This is kind of amazing. I love how it actually has the words on here. Ray Dunn who? All right, keep it moving. We love a young patriot. Oh, I see you. Oh. Uh-oh, I love it. I'm thinking that this is like a little teapot and then you squeeze lemon into it with his head and it puts lemon in your tea. I think I might be the most cursed thing in here. Hi, sorry, what? Excuse me? This being is from the nether realm. One of my favorite rooms. Okay, I thought we could take a break from the cursed things and just look at cute things. Are you ready? 
tiny little ironing board, cookie jars, same, a fuzzy little friend. Hey! Okay, I think I found another jewelry honey hole. Let's check it out. Found a crap load of necklaces. Oops, also this teeny tiny little bracelet. Look at this. It says it's a 1900s piece, but they dyed it lime green, which you might have some thoughts about, but I love it. I'm gonna see if this might fit. That's too teeny tiny for me, but the sweater is super cute. I think it's from the 50s. It doesn't help that my dress has shoulder pads in it. Let's see how much it is. Mm. If it were half that price, I would get it instantly. The buttons are really pretty. But look at this one. I don't think it's coming across on camera how purple it is. This is like a lilac purple. Maybe I need different lighting. Such a cool color palette. The sweater I just tried on is 45. That's closer to the price that I would be willing to pay, but not 100% sold on it yet. So I'm gonna leave it here, keep walking around, but check these out. Can you imagine this full like sunflower set and little cottage core situation? This whole display piece was like half the width. It would be perfect for that little wall. I mean, it's pretty great on its own. It's also a thousand dollars. Where'd you get this picture of me? Just kidding. Or am I? I'm very tempted by this, but I don't know if it works. It didn't when I plugged it in. It might be worth rewiring, but I just don't know. So cool though. Okay, we're in a new room. What is more cursed? Empty baby shoes? Or this portal to hell? me when I do math. I kind of love this. Let's bring this back. Also, these puppies have seen some things. Whoa, wh what are you doing? Y'all are not going to believe what happened to me. So while I was at the antique mall, a ghost floated right up to me and sucked the phone energy juice right out of my phone. And my phone died. So I couldn't film anymore. The audacity. Anyways, I'm home now, so let me show you what I got. We'll start off with this absolute noodle pile of jewelry that I found. I've said it once, I'll say it again. I love a layered necklace moment. So I got a few new options with different details as well as this little gold wrist cuff. I love this zipper lariat because one, zipper, hello, so cool. It can also be cinched up to act more like a choker, which is probably how I'm gonna wear it, to be honest. Next, we have this Gorgina brass chain. Made in Italy, amazing, enough said. Oh, it was $5, okay, really enough said. Couldn't say no to this sweet little silver chain. It was a dollar, come on. Actually, none of the jewelry was over five bucks and I saved the best for last. I was immediately drawn to this because I love a good fan motif, but then I saw the dragon etched into one side, and then I saw that you could open and close it. I am sold. Bury me in this necklace. On to the clothes. I got a little something something. Okay, I got two something somethings. Starting with this patchwork skirt. This walks the line between 60s dream and Halloween costume. And that is a Venn diagram that I did not realize I needed in my life. And I guess I was feeling this color palette today because we also have this lovely Technicolor overcoat. 
It is the perfect fall statement piece and I adore the plant pattern. And okay, you got me. This is a bathrobe. And I will be wearing it as both a robe and a coat because, say it with me, there are no rules. This robe is actually from one of my favorite local vintage sellers, Little City Co. And don't worry, I will link their page in the description so you can check it out for yourself. If you like this video and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated, and I will see you next Sunday. Okay, love you. Bye.